In today's video, I'm going to show you a resume review that I did for a student which helped him get his first claims position. I want you to peep the jobs because I go over like five or six job titles that you went and think to up use to look for a job. I also want you to peep what site that I use to job search because this is a site that since most people aren't using it, it's going to be worth your while to check it out. If you're one of the only ones checking it out, you're going to be one of the only ones applying to these jobs now keep in mind applying to a job with a bad resume is going to give you bad results so don't do that so stay tuned but first tales from the field teach you how to get experience without experience. I helped Maribel with her resume and two weeks later she had a job offer for a claims adjuster. I worked with Taj on his resume and he did a lot of job shadowing and he got a lot of training even though he didn't have experience and he ended up with two job offers and he took them both. Albert took a job out west and it helped him be able to work from home and make breakfast for his daughters before they go to school. I can teach you that too. I know it's a struggle when you're first starting out and you're trying to figure out how do I get started? Do I really have to wait on the storm? How do I get experience without experience? So next week in my three-day challenge, we'll be going over those questions, how to get work, how to get experience without experience. I'll even be teaching you the number one skills employers want you to have. I'll even show you employers that you can work for without a license so you can get experience without experience now space is going to fill up fast so i recommend you click on this link right now so you can be one of the first ones in the challenge i look forward to teaching you see like this position right here it's not a claims adjuster position but it's a fire and damage restoration tech if you learn from them this will be some of the best on hands-on training that you can get Okay. Cause then you'll you'll start to learn this, and then you'll use that to apply to uh, other positions. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to get your resume good, and you want to start submitting it. Okay. Cause some hiring cycles take months. Look, this one's right, right. where you are, right? Yeah. But it says senior. Look, this one might be a good one for you too. You know security, but I want I want to I wonder if what type of security they're looking at. So you gotta you gotta apply. Okay, so start applying. Apply to about anything on the resume that I need to address. I mean, obviously, you need to put the proper uh, numbers of my insurance license and uh, the I guess. Dates? Does, do the dates have to be for Kaplan? You want me to have that? The no, we don't have 20? to. Okay. Okay. So just uh, make sure I proofread it. How do would I adjust that preparing various written correspondence to, to match the text of the rest of the doc? Right above the shift manager, was that was that text? Is that just me seeing it, or is it? already adjusted because i thought it was i think i got it adjusted higher. hold on just a second adelaide darnell what's going on buddy i'm gonna get you back soon oh so yeah i just had a quick question um because i know you're you know finance and stuff i was going to um set up an llc so that i could be paid through that um mm -hmm. but i already have an llc um for a separate company they kind of overlap though i was just curious can i just have my metro checks be paid to that same llc or do i need to set up a different llc so yeah so that's uh so you were saying above which one the promoted or yeah where it says uh preparing various written correspondence yeah i just need to change that to black all right, and I'll send you that list. 
And then I want you to apply to 20 different insurance companies and about um, 30 different insurance adjusting firms. Those are the pilots, the Renfro's. So you'll, you'll get that list too. Okay, anything else? Do on um, most of these companies, do they, because my one of my uh, friends who I play flag work, he was explaining he also has a claim adjust license. He's been doing it for six years and he was explaining like companies that you go on with can sometimes put hold on your license if you sign with them and then you decide not to be there anymore. You know? And stuff, stuff like that. With the dealership, I actually use a, a software system that may, allows us to help us manage the cars and keep the information of the vehicles on a on a uh, registered uh, website. In Fort Lauderdale, it's a remote mm -hmm. from home position, and it says. Um, See, some of this you probably do. You do documents and damages. You prepare various written correspondences. So let's do that. I'm gonna put this here for... I'm gonna put this here. Because I'm sure you did that if you were working with orders and invoices. So prepare various written correspondences. It's not doing it like I wanted to. So we'll have to color change that later. Um, let's see, recording activities in every claim and estimating damages repair using exact domain. Okay, this is a field adjuster trainee position. Reviews case reserves. Prepare written reports of investigation and damages. Is this what you use, CMS? Okay. I, um, this Arby's ones I'm struggling with a little bit. Did you ever interview any of the mechanics or anything working at your job? No. Okay. All right. Um, that was my high school years. So. Okay. What this job at uh, Arby's? Yeah. Okay. I graduated '05, so you're a little bit younger. So let's see. Uh, results driven with strong. Did you ever work at more than one Arby's location? Like that sometimes you have to yeah. go to a different, no? Mm -hmm. Yes, I did. Okay, so let's put, um, uh, let's say, let's say required to um, work different properties. Um, Okay, let's take a look at what this one comes up to when we put the bullet points in that tool that I showed you. Uh -huh. Actually, this 
probably start it right here. Essential duties include. Um, so with inventory count, I'm sure I'm going to put inventory count as you conducted and coordinated loss investigations for your inventory. So but that way you get some of these keywords in there. You conducted and coordinated loss investigations. That's, I, I was an inventory control manager. That's what we did. So we conduct and coordinate because you got to have different people count different stuff. So you coordinated and um, so you conducted and coordinated um, loss investigations for inventory. Okay. Ugh, I think that water is really not good. And I'm still like trying to. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. So now we get this over to here. Good job, though. It's finding jobs that you stayed at for a nice long time. And even some of them overlapping. That's excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so we're trying to get down to one page. Um, I okay. did this down here but let's um remove this and that should get us to one page okay so you're going to put your adjuster's license there and what i actually do is like i'll take this education i'll put that up here i'll get rid of this i would say um you can put your security license on there probably want to just go ahead and take it off um okay claims adjuster license there with the number and then go ahead and put that you went through this, uh arby's and so you know don't really deal with um autos there <laughs> i mean unless you know go ahead I was saying product, not to replace whatever. Oh, like, oh, sure. oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, product. Yes. Product is perfect. Actually, I don't even think you need this line up here. It just, it doesn't do anything for somebody who works in the insurance industry. That's what you got to remember okay. when you and your wife go uh, through. Um, Okay, this was in high school. So truly, what, what I would do is, this is good to have. I like that. I think you're good to go, sir. Now, I'm gonna send you a list of companies you need to start applying to. Um, these are not the, uh, the insurance company themselves, they're staffing companies. And with the staffing companies, once they get you on the roster, they'll start to send you links to training. So there's like companies that want uh, you to be certified in certain stuff, and they will um, assist you in taking those different trainings. So that's your that's your next step. I will help you with getting the work. Okay. So as far look, this as one. The, uh... mm -hmm. As far as the work comes, is that like, uh, is that the study or is that the same how you explain, like, you know, you have to make sure that you are planning ahead and not into uh, intervening it as, you know, something that will be here tomorrow. Cause.